What's going on everyone? Sweaty Zeus here. We are at the Crystal Celia Crystal Tunnel. Yes, Celia Crystal Tunnel. If you remember, we were teleported here um, over by... Oh, wrong one. When we were at the lake with the gill. This is where we fought a gill. And uh, Dragon Burnt Ruins brought us here. So if you haven't come here yet, just open the chest in uh, Dragon Burnt Ruins. And it will bring you here. And also, if you haven't been there before, there's a um, twin blade in another cave over there. Or, sorry, um, area over there where the stairs go down. So, um, there's some of those guys in here. They're like, um, they're called pests, but they're kind of like a centipede looking thing. So, um... I'm probably going to equip two weapons here, and we're definitely going to be heavy overload. There, I took uh, my helmet off, so we're good. Um, but you're going to want, for the rock guys, you're going to want something, uh, which I'm going to use this hammer, which I've upgraded a little bit. And um, two plus six. I'm probably not going to go any higher with it, because there's a really, there's a, like, a colossal mace you'll get as soon as we take the lift into the third area, or the fourth area, um, the, uh, up on top of the plateau uh, after Lurinia. The one I told you that we'll probably wait till after um, finishing Redman Castle. But So I just want to tell you that it's supposed to be a real cool weapon. And Great Stars is up there. It's another really good strike weapon. It, it actually deals bleed damage too. I may use it also. I don't know. There's so many good weapons in this game. It's like I can never decide what I want to use. Or we can one hand this. So, flame grant me strength. Did they change that? It's like the animation looks different. I thought it just did like a flint, like a, so like a little red aura around you. I didn't know the whole guy who lit up on fire. I'd never seen that. So there's some good uh, upgrades in here as well. Be sure to grab them. A lot of smithing stone fives. Actually, we probably could have got by in this area. If you got a weapon upgraded enough that's not a strike weapon, it might work. So you can see our, um, Bloodhound Fang's actually doing okay. Thought there was a dog there. Um, there's an item back here, so be sure to grab it. And then we're going to head up. Yeah, this is better, definitely. You can kind of ignore these guys for the most part, the ones digging. Um, I think they will, if they spot you, come after you. Sometimes when you're fighting the uh, pest, they'll see you and uh, stop what they're doing and come try to fight you, but usually they'll ignore you. So I usually just like to take them out so I don't have to worry with them. Another rune arc. These pl uh, pests drop pests. Uh, damn it! I was trying to avoid that. They drop the pest glaive as well, which is a uh, halberd. So if you're interested in that, um, you can try to get it as well. Oh shit! Yeah, be careful. That attack that he hit me with twice is a. Uh, um, a distance attack they do. I was just trying to make sure I got all the stones. But they'll throw that out and it, it's got really good tracking. It's kind of hard to dodge. Really all you can do is roll like right before it hits you unless you've got a shield. Mm. I don't know. There's nothing really down there to there might be some stones on the wall, I couldn't see. 
Yeah, just a couple. Alright, so we're going to jump on this roof. Okay, you can do a running jump. Jump here. Now you can try to jump on that. It's really hard. Uh, you can do it with a running jump. Otherwise, we can drop down from up there. But I like to, if I can, there, get it on the way. That way we don't have to come back down and go back up again. So there's going to be one of the more powerful rock guys in here. If he hits you with that, it does a lot of damage. So try to be aggressive attacking him. See, I thought Flame Grant Me Strength just did that red aura right there. But I guess I'm wrong. I think there was a uh, stone on the lower level, but I guess not. Alright, so take the ladder up. An item over there. Somber 4, which is very nice. There's going to be another pest. If you want to run up there and get him first, it's not a bad idea. probably saw the this rock with her rock hammer wasn't doing much at all against the pests so just be sure to grab all the smithing stones where do you go I wonder if we've got anything we can throw at him we have a sleep pot is that what that was it's a beastler pot. Damn, dude, chill out. Damn. Doing that, I'm going to drop down there and kill you. See why these guys suck? Holy shit. Alright. We're going to die. We're gonna die. You fucking asshole, stop. God. God, I hate those things so much. Now we're gonna have to run through again for the boss because we're not gonna have enough. FP and health, probably. Alright, so make the jump. I gotta do all this over again. So if you hug the right wall and do a sprint jump there, you should be able to land on the beam. But if, if not, it's easier to drop down up here and get that item. I don't even think it's that great anyways, if I remember. I just grabbed it. I don't remember what it was, but I don't think it was anything spectacular. It looks like one I could grab. Alright, so go over here, take the ladder up. Now there's a few guys up here. Be sure to kick this ladder down before you fight them, just in case it doesn't go well. that ladder is going to be your basically your shortcut I get back up here where's the drop down oh it's over it's in the lower area so if you wanted to get the item and you couldn't make the jump you just drop down from here onto that bigger ledge and then you can walk out over the beam and, and grab it so we can get rid of this now alright and 
think it's a falling star beast, if I remember right. Oh yeah, if it's that, then we do. We are gonna need the. Uh... <sighs> Sorry about that. We are gonna need the uh... strike weapon for this. Um... This boss coming up. Uh, all right, so this room here. That's a trap right there, that item. There's going to be a pest in this room to your right. There we go. Another Somber 4. Dragon Wound. Alright. You can usually take one of these guys out. Trying not to have to use my healing flask so I can um, get through the boss. Oh no, we're fat rolling. How'd that happen? Shit. Grab the faithful canvas talisman, which uh, will upgrade, or not upgrade, it'll um, increase the amount of damage you do from faith incantations. And then the boss is right here. He runs funny in this army, or in this armor. I think it's the, like, has to poop or something. Alright, so we've got enough to do it. Uh, we've only got enough to do our, um, whatchamacallit, the, uh, summon. So we can drop this. That'll take us back to medium. And I'm just trying to guess which would be best, the magic or physical negation but I'd say probably he does do like a magic attack like a gravity attack but I don't know if that's um I don't I guess that would be considered magic but he does attack you physically as well and I think probably more often so uh, let's see we'll use this to fill our FP Take some of these off. I don't think we can use fire on this. Oh yeah, I, I made it mad or cold, so it won't, won't be able to. All right, so it's a pretty tough boss. If you don't think you can do it yet, just come back later. But th again, this will give us uh, smithing somber ones and twos uh, unlimited, where we can buy them. So it is a is an important one to get eventually. Um, I would suggest for the boss doing heavy attacks where you hold um, R2 until you do the attack. With this weapon, you should be able to two hit stagger him. Um, and it may be smart to throw on the um, Axe Talisman, which gives you enhanced charge attacks we could just throw on like yeah that'll make us a little bit lighter okay all right oh don't want to do it yet we need to I don't know if that's gonna take enough of our sorry one less thing twenty eight Got 112 FP, so we can do both. Okay. 
Let me use the demi humans. I just want to make sure I'd have enough left since I don't have any more flasks for FP. So I would suggest uh, if you're a shield guy, you're probably going to want to roll in this fight. It's like a charging bull. You're going to have to kind of roll left or right away. Yeah. It does also inflict bleed. Oh, not off to a good start. Really not off to a good start. Oh, he keeps knocking me out of my attack. They're not connecting, what the hell? He's like jumping right before. Oh, this is gonna take another attempt. That's what I meant. I don't. We're definitely gonna die here. Well, shit. This is why I didn't come do this earlier. I was thinking about it, but I thought we probably weren't ready yet. Um, let's see. We can probably go, if you did what I just did and died like I just did, it might make it a little easier to, I know I said I wasn't going to, but I'm probably going to level this up just a little more. Well, we are at plus six. We'll be fine. We'll do it again. We'll hold on to it. Just gotta get in the zone. Problem with this uh, weapon is it's really short, so. Oh shoot, I forgot. I'm not gonna burn another rune arc if we die again. I'm just gonna have to drop down some weight or something. This time I'm just gonna run straight for the boss door. Which normally I wouldn't recommend it or wouldn't recommend but this this area is a little little different. And if that one were to connect it, we'd have... Uh, there we go. So we stagger him. Oh, come on. I really hate when you stagger something on a wall and then you can't get a critical on it.
Got him. He gives you a lot of stuff. So we got a somber six too. The hard hard part is gonna be not leveling up my bloodhound thing because it's already at, at a five, or it may be a six actually. Yeah, it's a five. All right. Well, we got um got what we came for. So let's take that to the round table. I kind of like uh, using these big strike weapons because they, it's kind of fun doing the, um, breaking their stance and getting criticals. So you can see now Somber's Stones 1 and 2. Um, you can buy unlimited. By the way, if you didn't play this pre-patch, uh, you're lucky because uh, I think the first patch, they lowered the prices on these. These used to be like 5000 a piece or something crazy. And it was weird because like the special weapons were like, you know, multiple times cheaper to upgrade than a regular weapon is kind of backwards like you would think the um the weapon that's like a special weapon would be a little more costly to upgrade but like the regular weapons were you know because you got it you got first you've got 25 different uh tiers to upgrade them to max them out and then you've also got um you've also got the uh fact that they take multiple uh, stones like for for each level so what's cool about the um, what's cool about the uh, somber weapons the you know like the I don't I don't know what they're called with the differences like special weapons I guess um, What's cool about them is they only take one stone. You see, like, to get the first level on a Claymore, it's two smithing stone ones. And the first level on a Cicada is just one somber stone. And all the way up to ten, you just need one stone. Well, these need two, then four, then six. Uh, so, like, if you haven't upgraded that far yet, you know, level one's two, level two's four, and level three is six. So... You're going to need 12 stones for every three levels on a regular weapon. So, you think it'd almost be backwards, like the ones that are special weapons would cost more, but anyways. I don't have a five. And I don't know what I want to use yet. Just I don't have a fire for that either. So the only one I can do is the uh, Bloodhound, which I've used so much. But gosh, I sure do like it. Uh, next level will take us to see strength scaling as well. got the axe I'm using as well. I really would like to use the great axe. So I may, I may do that actually. And I'll come back after this video. Let's see if we got any other ashes of war we could use. Be sure to try out Lion's Claw. I, I really like it. It's a, it's a fun one. And then remember determination if you've, especially if you're magic or like uh, you know, you use like face, faith um, incantations, then it's really cool because the uh, it'll add 60% to your first attack after doing determination. So, you know, it can be really effective if you do it and then cast uh, magic or whatever faith 
Incantation you use. So if you're doing a thousand damage and you cast that before, then you're gonna do sixteen hundred damage. Like it, it's a uh, makes a huge difference. I would. It's not great on like glintstone pebble and stuff, you know, because uh, excuse me, because those those are like ones you got to use over and over, you know. But if you have any like big like um, haymaker spells that like. No, absolutely dunk on uh, dunk on enemies, and you know it's like one that you can only get off one or two. It's cool to use determination on those because then it'll, um, you know, sometimes you can like one shot bosses and stuff. I'm gonna see if I can upgrade that. <laughs> Not, on, I'll move on, but I just wanted to try real quick. Just need a little more. This is where I get into trouble selling things. I start selling my, uh, Consumables and craftables. Dang, let's do one more. Any dupe weapons? If you know which, um, Craftables you never use, it makes it kind of easy to sell some of them and stuff. <laughs> I can still do more. That'll be enough for now, though. Don't waste your time. I'll, I'll just come back and do it. And then I want to throw in an Ash of War. I like Wild Strikes. I like Horfrost Stomp, too. I want to do regular damage at the moment though. Can you do this with... Yeah, you can do standard. Or heavy. 203, so that's 275. That one's... 277. Qualities... 260 something. This one does the most damage, but it's split. Does cause frost build up? Yeah, I can't. I can't. Not use it. Do I got enough strength now? There we go. Alright. So back to the game. Sorry about that. Still got 30 minutes left. So mark that off. Need to go through these and check them. I haven't marked all of them off. Um, we we could do this real quick too. It's kind of weird. I never know. Like, Leonia and Caleb are kind of weird because uh, I don't know which one 
I know Liarney is really easier, so it's probably the one you want to do first, but like some of the stuff in Kaled is like what we're doing now is about as difficult as the easier Liarnia stuff, but when you get to like northern Liarnia, it's probably harder than, um, you know, so it, it it's weird, like they're not, most of the areas kind of progress like harder, harder until you get to the end of the game, but these two I think are kind of mixed and like there's parts of the areas that are not very hard and then parts that are uh, more advanced so like this area in Kalid I want to do because we can do it right now you don't have to fight these guys you can ride right past them um, I want to do this because we can do it now if we attack it too much later it's, it's going to seem like a joke so and plus the um Summon you get from it, I think a lot of you will like and use. It's a really good one. So ignore him. Right over here. I do believe this is the one that uh it's got a lower yeah, it's got a lower level. I remember when I played through it I couldn't figure out where to go for a while. Make sure you've leveled up one of your uh, summons before you come to this area too because the boss is kind of hard and uh, I think you're going to kind of need it. It's doable but it's going to feel pretty hard if you haven't upgraded them at all. I'll go ahead and tell you why too. Um, I was going to let you see when we get there but the um, boss in there is not too bad, but there's two of them, uh, so you're going to need whatever um, you're using as a, um, I'm just trying to let my rot go down a little, you're going to need whatever you're using as a um, distraction with your summon to stay alive for a little bit and the boss you're fighting is one of those or two of those cat um, or tree uh, burial watchdog things even though they're called dogs they look like cats um, and there's an item here uh, that guy always gets me like that. It's the third time I've been in here, it's happened the same every time.
Anyways, the uh, two barrel watchdogs and one is going to have um, magic, which they did in the first time we fought them. And then there's also, I think it's a different one. I can't, I guess I can't remember. There's one of these matches where there's the burial watchdog and it's, you know, you fought one before, but there's like five or six of these guys in there. I'm fighting right now the uh, imps. So, finally got one of the imps. Imp statues. That one's a uh, guaranteed, though. It's just there. Throw this back on. That'll take us to medium low. Looks looks a little better with this than uh, some of the other helmets. Increases our damage as well. Throwing the Scar still on. So it raises your your strength by five and your dex by five. That's the only thing that was up here. I guess um, the other route went where we needed to go downstairs. Yeah, that was funny because I found that drop down. It took me a little time, but I just remember like being like, "What the hell? Where do I go?" And just kind of wandering around and wandering around. And I watched a few streams. And it was funny seeing everyone do the exact same thing. Throw that on. Throw that on. This ain't going well. We're gonna try again. The magic one sucks too because you gotta get, he's got a wider area. This is one where being a mage makes it a lot easier. You can kind of range them down more. Shit. I could just get rid of this one, it'd be alright. Attacked the wrong one. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, right when I killed the one, this is a tough fight. Oh, they put a steak of Marika in this one. I think it did need to have one. It's a long time ago. 
Uh, the um, Imped Wolf. If you read it, uh, increases your endurance by one. So, not huge, but it helps. So, just wanted to mention it. <laughs> oh shit, I totally forgot. We lost our uh I hate this one so much. Go ahead and kill me, go ahead. Uh, sometimes you just gotta get a little pissed off to make it work. 
So there's the uh, great jar. You can get the uh, great jar arsenal charm, I think it's called. You should be able to do it at this point. It shouldn't be too hard. You got to fight past two big golems. And then when you get up there, right in front of the... Sorry, like right there where the tip of the axe is. Um, there's going to be three invaders. You have to kill all three on one, one life uh, without dying. And they're all pretty, pretty strong. If you're offline, they'll be the same. If you're online, it'll be randomly chosen. And um, if you die, you got to go all the way back to the um, grace, which is like about from here to here, about another length back that way. And then you have to get through the two archer golems. And you're going to need to kill that one every time. So it can be a pain in the ass. Like if you don't do it right. But if you look. You see that branch right there above the tip of the axe. You can actually run out on the tip of it. Or not all the way but close. And then. Uh, a lot of times when the invaders spawn in. They'll run for you and try to do a heavy attack. And they'll just fall right off. Um, especially if you're offline. The one has a great mace. I like to do that because he can usually kill you with like two hits. And sometimes they'll even hit you when they're falling off, but it'll it'll take them out, and then you just got to worry about two of them. Or you can do it with all three if you want. One's always a mage though, and she may or may not try to run and attack you. Sometimes she'll just sit back and. Uh, range you so all right so here's another avatar I don't know if we have time to take him on right now I'm gonna go back in and top off all our all our stuff let's see yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and take him on. Because I haven't really looked in Liarnia what we need to get into next yet. Let's try Latina. Alright. This one, I think, inflicts rot, too. Not a great start. Definitely not a great start. <laughs> Oh, that was stupid. I don't even know where our summon is. I gotta say, I really appreciate the stakes of Marika. It makes it less, the game, like, less, uh, cumbersome to play through. Like, in the, uh, prior games, when you died a boss, sometimes, oh god, it was the worst. So you gotta like replay through a whole entire level every time you die. It's pretty brutal. Not gonna lie. This is for Frost Stomp. It was a really, really good, really good, maybe the best after. Definitely, probably, not even close. Probably was the best Ash of War in the game. They, uh... Definitely, you know, nerfed it a little bit. No, 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 no. If you get hit with the Scarlet Rock by that guy... It's kind of like the dragon when he hits you with it. Um, if you stand in it, it'll just hit you over and over. For pretty good chunks and um if you stand in it too long oh shit i hadn't even picked up my i lost all those runes I 
think I'm just gonna keep flame cleanse me on deck. enough HP shit yeah this one might have to wait Back later, you dickhead. Damn, just missed. Shack. We've gone up to the four belfries. I'm trying to remember what all we did here the first time. Let's see, well, if we did, we'll have the Stormhawk, which we don't have. Okay. I think we just went, I just went to the one with the, uh, Crucible Knight. I've been to this one. The third imbued sword key. Um, there's going to be one at the top up here. One's going to be in um, Celia Town. You know, the... Uh, cave we just fought through. I guess I hadn't come through here yet. This must have been on my other playthrough. It's hard not to get them mixed up. I'm probably not going to have time to finish this either. Should just walk off. Jump off that one. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so I'm going to go to my most powerful weapon. And if you've been spending time learning to parry, uh, now is going to be the time to bust that out 100%. Crucible Knights, uh, really the best way to take them on is to try to parry them, in my opinion. The problem is their second phase makes getting parries a little harder, so... Okay, I've got just a few minutes left, so we'll give it... One or two tries. That's a problem. They're stupid, uh. Thrust is so fast, you, know, like you can't get away from it. Yeah, 
your second phase. You really gotta time your rolls. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Let's go! Yeah, my work on parries has really paid off. To be honest, I suck at parries. Um, well, I wouldn't say I do any more. I only missed like one or two that whole fight. So prior to this playthrough, all my Dark Souls um, experience, I've never really mess with parries like I've I've tried it a few times and I've figured it out here and there but never used it as like a legitimate um that's all that's here so we're gonna warp back <sighs> I've never used it as a legitimate um strategy ever before but man it makes the crucible night so much easier and it's really not that hard once you get a feel for the timing just the timing always felt off for me. Um, and using a small shield, oh man, it makes it so much easier. I, I used to always use a medium shield and try to do it, but it's, it's way, way harder. So, alright guys, well that's the end. Um, I'll go ahead and end here, and we'll catch you in the next one. And the next one will start out right here. And go on to the uh, next area. Which, cool enough, this will be the area we started the game. The Precipice of Anticipation. Uh, so we'll go back there and fight the guy who killed us. Uh, the very first death you had. So, catch you in the next one. See you then.